Hello, all you lovely learners in learning land. Tyler from Tin Thumbs Pro coming at you with another guitar lesson like we do every single Monday. So if you like this kind of content, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you never miss a guitar lesson. Today, we're going to discuss a concept in our blues soloing called the BB Box made famous by BB King. You can get a printable tab plus a written explanation of this up here by becoming a Patreon. You'll see links in the notes, a link to this direct tab pinned in the first comment, plus some timestamps to jump to the part of the lesson that you're learning. Additional links in the description, including my email if you want some one-on-one -on -one lessons with Zoom or Skype, plus our other social networks. I'm to jam. Grab the guitar, brain and attention span, and once you have those three things, follow me on in and let's break down the BB box. Come on in, let's do it. The BB box. Really stepping up your blues soloing because really essentially what this means is we're mixing major and minor. So you're really taking your soloing from like 101 to 201. This is sophomore level soloing. So you're playing a G blues, you're probably gonna use G minor pentatonic shape one. To review that, we get three, six, three, five, three, five, three, five, three, six, three, six. Shape one. Up here, fifth fret of the G string, we can slide that to the seventh fret we have this cool extension that is in shape two, which is seven down to the B string, six, eight, six, eight. And here on the eighth fret of the B string, we have a G note, which is our root note. So this root note here on the B string is what you wanna find when you're playing around in the BB box. What, no matter what key it is, this is the note that you want to find. And the easiest way to find it was shape one, move the extension, right there. So now we got the root. This root sits at the end of shape two, but also at the start of shape three. So if we look at shape three of our minor pentatonic, we have Okay, and this is the 8th fret, 10th fret, 8th fret, 10th fret, 8th fret, 10th fret, 7th fret, 10th fret, 8th fret, 11th fret, 8th fret, 10th fret. And that is the shape three. But for this lesson, we're really gonna be focusing on the top half of that shape. So let's just look at that from here. 10, 8, 11, 8, 10, 7. Okay? So, again, that's our G note. If we're playing a G blues, we also have the flat fifth here on the ninth fret. Bluesy sounds good, but we want to get to this BB box, which makes it major. So what we're going to do is we're going to change a couple of notes. The first one is how we're playing the 10th fret here on the G string. This is the flat seventh interval. We're going to move that down to nine. And now we have a sixth interval. The sixth interval is a major tone, but sounds good with minor very much rock and roll, John Fogarty. Think the beginning of Fortunate Son. And just that basic little idea right there, you can get a lot of mileage out. Sliding into it. And playing around with the root. So you slide up, where you can start wherever you want and slide to the um, ninth fret of the G string instead of the 10 and then drop down to the root on the eighth fret of the B. So that particular note, really what I'm doing is I'm using the BB box over the one chord. So when the blues is playing the G7, I'm in these major ideas. When it goes to the C7, I go back to the minor. Mm -hmm. 
Then it goes back to the G7. I'm back in this BB box. But that's just the first note. The next one would be instead of going from the 8 to 11, we're going to go 8, 10, 12. So what we've here is we have the second interval, also known as the ninth, and then the major third instead of the minor third, which is what we were playing earlier. If you can, you can bend from this up to the 12. All right, so that's another good tool to have right there. You can still run that four, five, the four blues note, flat, or flat fifth and fifth. And then from the fifth, you can go up to the 12th fret and you have another six interval. So to review, the box is, again, find your root, be able to do this relative to the root, so then you can transpose it and do it in a key. That's really, really important. Everything revolves around this root right here on the B string, our G note. So we have ninth fret of the G string. On the B, we're gonna go eight, 10, 12, and then on the high E, we're gonna go eight, nine, 10, 12. And you would use those ideas over the G7. Again, once it goes back to the C7, you're back in the minor. Back to the G7, back in the box, then the turnaround, the D, you can use either the BB box or the minor, minor, BB box, minor, BB box, either or. Now over the one chord two, you can also use the minor as well. But usually what I like to do is if I'm playing the minor pentatonic over the G7, once I jump into the BB box, I don't like to go back to minor. So what I mean by that is if I'm playing the minor scale, and then I do a BB lick, I will stay in that box until the chord change. I think that's the best way to make it sound the cleanest, but you don't have to do that. Ultimately, it's up to you and your ears. Experiment with it and have some fun, all right? So there's a backing track that I'm gonna put at the end of this. I'm just gonna put it up and have you play along with it, have some fun with it, use these ideas, listen for those chord changes, and try to mix the major and minor and have some fun with it. All right, until next time, keep on rocking and rolling, keep on loving life, and we'll catch you next Monday for next guitar. Take care, have a lovely day.
cool everyone thank you so much for watching to the very end of this lesson here at 10 thumbspro.com we appreciate you trusting your learning with us there's a lot of places you can learn so thank you so much for watching to the very end and giving this video a try keep on rocking and rolling keep on loving life keep on playing that guitar experiment with these concepts it will definitely make you a better lead player and it'll create a deeper understanding of tonalities intervals and all that kind of stuff that makes you a good guitar player all right until next time until next monday have a lovely time Think about becoming a Patreon, cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. You can set your cap as low as a dollar a month, but you still have unlimited access to the PDS for that. All right, until next time, take care. Enjoy that BB box. Rock and roll.